the entire world is facing a threat right now that cannot be underestimated. This threat has closed down millions and millions of people. It has locked them down. They are forced to stay inside of their home. Children forced to stay home from school. Adults not able to go to work. Entire banking industries, and entire marketplaces are closing down. It is an SHTF. For many people, it's an end of the world threat. Major uh, watchers, researchers, virologists, uh, disease researchers have come out and they have said that if this continues, we're looking at the possibility of a life-altering, a world-altering event, the likes of which we have not seen in the last 100 to 200 years. That means that everything that you are used to, from your technology, like your phones, being able to just call and contact somebody, to the peace of mind that you've had from going to work every day, sending the kids off to school, going to have dinner at a restaurant, all of that can change. So let's talk a little bit about how you can begin to prepare for that. After all, you are only here right now because your ancestors prepared. You and I are only here because our great-grandparents put food away during times of plenty for when there were times of struggle. It used to be a common practice. You would put away a good crop for a bad winter. You would put away even a meager crop to survive any winter. Putting food away is one of the easiest things that you and I can do. And if nothing else, you will be buying food that you can use next month and hedging against future inflation. So our family here, we are meticulous about our food stores. And we're gonna talk about just a couple of things here, and this is really our diet. And I implore you, only purchase items that you already eat. Don't purchase things that you don't have a taste for, no matter how cheap they are, because if you begin to struggle with eating that, become calorie deficient, nutrient deficient, whatever it might be, you could have put that money to better use. So these are things that we eat for one reason or another. I wanna talk a little bit about them, but first, let's talk about this RO, the r not or the spreadability of this threat that we're facing right now is being estimated at between four and 6%. That means for every one person infected, they're going to infect another four to six individuals. The US military is preparing. Now I see a mitigation strategy taking place. What is happening is rather than alerting you, the individual, and saying, Joe Blow, American public, North American public, European public, there is a reason to worry. Instead of saying that, they're saying, we are trying. We are attempting to contain this. And they're using this verbiage that gives the aware the heads up, lets you know that things aren't all right but it doesn't instill the panic in the public that causes them to go out and panic buy all of the gasoline, panic buy all the propane, panic buy all the medicine, all the food. It doesn't cause riots and upset and violence. Instead, we are trying. We're preparing for the fact that we might not be able to contain this. Yet the U.S. military, U.S. Northern Command, is executing plans to prepare for a potential of this sort of thing to not be able to be contained. More on that in a future video. So let's talk about our, my family's food stores, our monthly budget, uh, not necessarily a budget, but our monthly intake of food and calories and how that might mirror yours or how you might be able to adopt that and what you can do to begin to prepare. So each one of the things here, we buy in bulk. We really, the only things we don't buy in bulk are things that don't make sense, like fruit and vegetables, fresh fruit and vegetables. Everything else is purchased in bulk. We buy things that we're comfortable eating every single day. Kelly is an amazing baker, cook. She cooks everything at home that isn't already made in some form or another. And so every day we're eating things that our food stores provide us with couple of those things. First thing I want to talk about is the first food prep every person should make, and that's rice. $25, uh, excuse me, 25 pounds for a 10-pound, 10, 10, uh, 
$10 bag. Two cups of uncooked rice is one and a half cups, one and a half pounds, excuse me. So we eat one and a half pounds of uncooked rice and that provides us with one and a half meals. With this, we get 25 meals, family meals, a family of four. We get 25 meals out of a 25 pound bag. So for $10, we're getting 25 full family of four meals. And that's just my family. We don't eat the serving size, we eat more. Uh, cost per four family meal is 40 cents. Cost per serving is 10 cents on our family size, more than a serving size on the back of the bag. Canned chicken, uh, depends on what you're making and you really have to take into consideration your entire inventory. If we're making chicken patties with leftover bread, uh, one meal is four servings and it costs us 40 cents, 41 cents per patty. If we're making taco rice, something where we're adding taco seasoning to and we are uh, simmering the chicken inside of it and then adding it to white rice and a canned vegetable, then it's only 13 cents per serving. If we're making a full taco meal, that means Kelly's using the flour that's here and she is making uh, tortillas, making the taco, adding a vegetable. Then it's going to cost us just the chicken, cost us about 27 cents per serving. We've got things like our diced tomatoes right here. One can is three servings for our family. Uh, three individuals are eating that. So one can stretched a little bit is an entire family serving. Cost per meal is around 75 cents. Canned corn, now you have your options here. You can have a name brand like this, or you can cut the price by 40% to get a member's mark or an off-brand. Uh, with that, with like a off-brand, the cost per meal is only 50 cents. With a name brand like this, the cost per meal is 83 cents. In times of plenty, like now, we purchase name brand and off-brand. We do this because sometimes you're going to find uh, quality differences in the name brand. So you're gonna pay a little bit more while you can in times of plenty for a little bit higher of quality. You've got your noodles. Now you say, Brad, you purchase 50 pound bags of flour and you put it into five gallon buckets and you transfer those five gallon buckets into day-to-day -day usage jars. Why are you gonna buy noodles? Well, frankly, it's cheaper to buy noodles like this than it is to make your own. Well, that's because you are putting hours of your day into turning this flour into this noodle. And that's unavoidable. It's hours of your day. Anybody who tells you that they only purchase bulk flour, sugar, and oats and rice, and they make everything else like noodles, is sending you a lie because they do not have the time to do that and perform the daily tasks of life unless food prep is their only goal in life. So for some things, now grid down, end of the world, of course, you're gonna make do. But I tell you what, I'm not making noodles if that's the case. I'm gonna make a flatbread because that's a lot easier. It's prep, make, eat, instead of making noodles, which is a little bit more time consuming. So noodles here, cost per meal, family of four, 66 cents. You've got your, uh, I don't like to eat just noodles. That's not very nutrient rich. So adding in a red sauce, a pasta sauce. Now, when you get something like this in bulk, I lost one of my papers there. When you get something like this, you can buy the large tubs of the same thing, but you're going to have to refrigerate those if you don't use them same day. So I buy things in this size because I know that if the event gets widespread enough, if it becomes long-term, dangerous enough, I can't guarantee that I have access to refrigeration and so I'm wasting the larger items. And that's why my can isn't in the food service sizes, my corn, my tomatoes aren't in the food service sizes, my ketchup and my pasta sauce are not in the large food service sizes. They're like 150 ounces. You're not gonna eat that in one serving. And the rest is gonna get moldy and go to waste or make you sick. We've got our uh, canned peaches, which I didn't bring out, uh, but we do buy those in the food service sizes because we eat them relatively quickly and that's cheaper. Um, tomato paste, again, another thing I don't have here in front of me. Uh, tomato, oh, right here. Tomato paste, 
that's going to make your pizza sauce, your bread sauce, your, um, if you're going to make something like a calzone, something like that. That's what this is for. You have to add fruits into your vegetables. Dried craisins, another great uh, bulk purchase item. Dried raisins. Now, my family, a lot of one member would eat one thing, another member would eat another, but every member will eat these, and so we purchase these. You need your dehydrated milk. You can buy it in 25 pound buckets if you want to. I buy it in this because it's sealed. If one, bu one bag goes bad, gets torn into, gets dropped, I don't lose the entire group. Uh, why do I have cereal here? A lot of this stuff is great in its nutrients, but isn't, doesn't have added nutrients to it. It's how it came from the earth. In a perfect world, you would have a wide range of everything because you're a hunter and gatherer and you would be picking up from here and there and you would get every vitamin, mineral that you need. We don't live in a perfect world. The topsoil has been robbed of its nutrients. So I'm going to eat something like this for a breakfast, a dry cereal that has been added nutrients to it. And I can buy it in bulk. Shortening, that's going to provide you with fat that you need. Oil, uh, I buy the two and a half gallon corn oils and the olive oil. Stay away from vegetable oil, stay away from things like peanut oil because they don't provide you the same good fats as corn oil and olive oil. Look for heart healthy signatures on the bottles and you'll know it's a little bit better of a fat. Shortening and oils are gonna provide you with your fat. Without that added fat, you are not getting enough fat in this preparedness pantry to survive. You're gonna lose weight. You're going to become deficient. You have to add fat back in. Oil and shortening are the easiest ways. Okay, so what's our meal plan? Our 30-day meal plan is 120 servings of rice, family of four, two 25-pound bags. So think of the future, the next three minutes of video, as a budget, a recipe, for 30 days for a family of four. Two 25-pound bags, it's $20. Four six-count boxes of noodles. Using one can of chicken, right here, every other day, because if you make a taco seasoning, something like that, you're not gonna use a lot of chicken, even for a family of four, because you're adding it to your other staple goods. So if you use one can every other day, you need three six count packs, canned tomatoes right here. You need five, eight can boxes, canned corn right here. We use five, 12 can boxes. Pasta sauce right here. Right now they come in packs of three. Sometimes you can buy the larger bottles. If you're buying them like that, which are the oversized bottles, we need eight three packs. We eat a lot of just noodles and sauce. Canned peaches, which I don't have here. Uh, you need six 105 ounce cans. Tomato paste right here. You need eight packs like this. Oh, I'm sorry, three packs like this for a month. I'm dyslexic, so I have it backwards. Uh, dried raisins right here. One to two boxes. Craisins, three to four bags. Frosted flakes or a cereal of your choice three 55 ounce boxes, uh, corn oil, one to two gallons for that month. Spices, that's a big thing we didn't talk about. Turmeric, anti-inflammatory. It's gonna keep down inflammation in your body when you're sick. Garlic, antiviral. It's going to help you uh, get over viruses. Seasoned salt, a mixture of things. It's gonna to add to your sodium. It's gonna make you uh, be able to palate these things better. Basil, pizza, garlic pepper. Add it to plain rice, it's gonna taste good. Fresh garlic, taco seasoning. You've got red pepper, oregano leaves. We go through the most of turmeric. You have to add black pepper to it, a piperine to activate it in your body. Turmeric, black pepper, Sea salt, 
garlic, and fresh garlic. Those are things we use at every single meal. Make sure you have enough of those. Uh, cocoa powder, making treats, making a syrup. Tea, something everybody can have to add nutrients and add antioxidants. Flour, you're going to use one 25 pound bag in a month. Eggs and milk, if you have access to fresh, that's perfect. If not, you have to go with dehydration. Hopefully you have chickens and you can provide your own eggs. Your total cost for a one month, for our family of four, our total cost. If I was to go buy this today on Sam's Club at a bulk store price, I'm looking at around $300. Some of it will be rolled over to next month, your turmeric. You might not go through this in a month. You might not go through all of it, and you'll roll it over. But as we look at this international global threat, when you go to the store, don't buy packaged and prepared foods. Buy these things, spend your $300 monthly budget. Remember that's a family of four. If you have two people, $150 monthly budget. If you're a solo person, $100 monthly budget. With your budget, you have a month's worth of food. If you're worried just about calories, stack up on your oats, your rice, your flour, your sugar. With that, you're going to make flatbreads every day and sprinkle sugar on some, add salt and spices to others. You're going to make oats, add in a couple of dry fruits, make cookies, make uh, non-risen uh, like dessert patties with your sugar. You need a certain amount because you're going to be expending those uh, calories. Don't let anyone tell you sugar is poison. Great. You're right. In a perfect world, I'm going to have a greenhouse that's 300 feet wide and it's just loaded with oranges and apples and bananas and pineapples and everything else. We don't live in a perfect world. Get sugar because your body needs it. You don't have to eat it like you're drinking a soda, which has cups of sugar in it already. Sprinkle it on the top of a non-risen flour tortilla. It's going to make you feel a lot better. Please, I implore you, if you have the money today, go and purchase these items. If you don't, next time you go to the store, rather than buying a cookie or Pop-Tarts or things that are costing you more because someone else made them in a factory and then they added their profit on top of it, buy the things that you can make that yourself. It will save your life. And if nothing else, you'll be eating healthier with no preservatives, less preservatives in the case of something like this. And you're going to be hedging inflation. In China, with millions locked down, they cannot go to the store and get these things. You are able to today. Please be prepared for the unknown of tomorrow. As the U.S. Center for Disease Control, the World Health Organization, Local governments warn that this is a matter of control. And if they can't control it, you will be locked down. And you won't be able to go and purchase this. And you will have to be hungry and tell your kids why they're hungry in their house. Do what you can today to prepare. Remain vigilant, everybody. Prepare for tomorrow because you're only here because your grandparents did. Special thank you to each one of our Patreon members for making our channel possible. This week's Full Spectrum News is brought to us in part by usaberkeyfilters.com. Use the code FSS10, you're going to get 10% off of your order. We use a Berkey every single day. And you are valued members on Patreon. Sign up for next month. We're putting out another month's worth. We dedicated the entire month of February's survival cards that we take pictures, create tips, weatherproof, and mail out to you so that you don't have to go anywhere to get this survival information. We dedicated the entire month of February to quarantine, isolation, preparedness for a biological threat. We're gonna do the same thing with March because there's too much to prepare for. If you're interested, join us for March at the $10 level to get your survival cards that month. It's patreon.com forward slash full spectrum survival. From my family to yours, please stay safe, Remain vigilant and keep watch.